Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learning Engineering Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to select a manual valve in a process industry. A manual valve plays an important role for the smooth operation of any process. Generally, a manual valve is selected on the basis of three criteria. First, nature of fluid. Second, application of valves and third its operating conditions a valve generally contains hand wheel bonnet body and disc hand wheel is used for the actuation of valve and if stem is up it means valve is open and if stem is down it means valve is closed the first selection criteria is the nature of fluid for the liquid and the gas phase there is a wide range of valve available for selection but for the steam we can select gate globe check and needle valve while ball butterfly and diaphragm valve are not suitable similarly for the slurry case, ball, butterfly valve and diaphragm valve are recommended. On the other hand, we also check that whether fluid is clean or, uh, or it is uh, contaminated with some other materials. Say if fluid contains inerts, then gate, globe, check and needle valves are not recommended. Similarly, if the fluid is corrosive, then there is a wide range of valves for selection, but it depends upon the material of selection. And for the flammable fluid, butterfly valve is not recommended. The other criteria for the selection of valve is the function of valve that for which purpose the valve is being installed if the purpose of the valve is the isolation or the control of process then gate valve ball valve butterfly valve and diaphragm valve can be used but if there is a requirement of a flow diversion from one direction to another direction then three way or four way ball valve plug valve and angle valve will be selected. The third criteria for the selection of valve is based on the operating conditions. For the pressure case, if there is a vacuum, then gate valve is not recommended. Similarly, for the higher high pressure class up to 2500, butterfly valve is not recommended. For the temperature case, if the, it is if the fluid is cryogenic it means its temperature is less than minus 50 celsius then diaphragm valve is not suitable for this surface and if the temperature is high up to 450 celsius then ball valve butterfly valve and diaphragm valve is not suitable similarly the other criteria are checked for the selection of valves like the leakage that depends upon that whether we require the tight shut or not and the size of the, the valve and the similarly the size of the piping. Generally for the size of piping greater than 10 inch glow valve is not recommended. And we can also see uh, the selection of valve also depends upon the lining that if it is a rubber PTFE or the glass type lining. There are some advantages and disadvantages on selection of a specific valve. For the glow valve, it is the best for the shut off and the regulating characteristics but on the other hand it has disadvantage of a high pressure losses. 
Similarly, gate valve gives a straight through flow but it is a slow acting. While plug valve give a quick action and straight through flow but it has a temperature limitations and it needs a lubrication. Ball valve are a quick acting straight through flow and easy operation but it also has a temperature limitation. Similarly, butterfly valve are also quick acting good regulating characteristics but it has a leakages problem and temperature limitation. And diaphragm valves are the glandless positive shut off provided on the dirty fluids but it has pressure and the temperature limitation. Thank you.